So you done went out and bought yourself a GH5 or a GH4 and you want to do some slow motion, but you don't have no idea how the variable frame rate works. I know it's confusing in the menus. I'm going to teach you how to use it. All right, before we jump right into this, I want to let you know a couple things that you need to know before we figure out how this thing works. When using variable frame rate, you lose your video audio and your video autofocus. So that's something to keep in mind that I know it's kind of sucks compared to Sony cameras that you don't lose that, them features when using slow motion. But with the GH5 and the GH4, and I assume all Panasonic cameras that have variable frame rate, you lose your audio and you lose your autofocus. But you can easily work around it. Most people, when using slow motion, put music over top of it, so that's not an issue. And for the autofocus part, you don't really need to be using that for slow motion because sometimes what you're filming, say I was filming the camera right now going around it, if it hunts and hits my light, then it, it kind of ruins the shot. So you don't really need to be using that. You need to learn how to use manual when doing your slow motion. So it kind of sucks that we lose it, but we don't need it. So keeping that in mind, let's jump right into how it works. Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure your camera is on and in video mode. And we can go straight into our menus. So click on your menu down here. All these tabs on the left. If you go ahead in the first one up here for video, you see the second one says variable frame rate off. Some of you may not be seeing that and I'm about to tell you why. I'm gonna leave that the way it is for now. Go back over here and go to the second video tab. And what we're interested in is the first two things on this menu option right here. The first one being your record format, whether it be MP4, MP4, HEVC, or all the or MOV. I personally like MOV because it works well with like uh, Apple computers. It's the, it's the file type that they're used to. So I use that and, and you get all kinds of different recording options by using that. So the next thing we got to do is get on to record quality. Now this is the reason that some of y'all had variable frame rate blurred out on your camera a minute ago. And this is because some frame rates this camera can record in doesn't support the high frame rate option. So if you, as we're scrolling down through these, whether it be 4K or 1080p, you're going to see HLG available, you're going to see VFR available. VFR is what we're looking for. So over here on, on the right, we're looking for a, a recording format that we want with VFR available. So I'm going to do 1080p just so I can show y'all how it works. What I normally record at right here is, is 1080p at 60 frames per second and VFR available. So I'm going to click on that. Now what that's going to do is unlock variable frame rate in the, in the first tab. So we can go up here again, go over and it's off. I want to click on that, turn it on. So by doing that, it's going to ask us how slow we want to slow it down to. Now we can go down here and do like a, a makeshift time lapse by doing this. Or we can scroll over and you can go all the way up to 180. So let's do that. And it also sh shows you right here, variable frame rate 180, slow fast effect 33%. So that's how much it's going to be slowed down to play back at 60p which is our, our camera recording. So let's click on 180. Now let's go back to here. Now what we can do is press record and move the camera side to side and it should be slow. So let's play that back and see if it worked. Press play. So look how slow that is compared to what I just did. So that's how you use that feature. And then if you if you don't like how slow that is or you want to change some settings, go back to your menu, go to variable frame rate where it says on, and then go down to set, and this is how you can reset it. Now just a quick little tip here, this little reset feature, say uh, 120, but then all of a sudden I want to drop down to 60. I can I can set it to a custom function on the on the camera. So if I want it on function two, I can set it that way press function 2 every time I want to adjust the frame rate that it's recording in for the VFR. So that's kind of cool if you if you do that a lot. I think that's kind of cool to have that feature there if you want it. What I want to teach you now is the most effective way to use variable frame rate. I'm going to go ahead and put my camera back the way it was before I forget. Okay, so I got my camera back the way I normally use it. 
what I want to show y'all how to do is to set slow motion to one of your custom buttons so that way every time you want to use it you don't have to go in and change your settings you can just flip your dial up to you know C2 if that's what you got it set as shoot your slow motion go back to movie mode and you're completely back to 60p normal normal recording I think that is the best way to use this feature and let me show you how to do that okay so I got mine set at 120 right now I'm gonna hit set so now I am in VFR mode at 120 frames per second I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna pick out which one I want so let's do C3 so I'm going to hit menu go down to right here at the, the wrench tab go over to custom set memory click that go down to C3 because that's where I want to have my slow motion at click OK now what it's going to do is ask you if you want to overwrite your current camera settings with custom set 3 I'm not using 3 at the moment it's, it's the, just the factory programmed right now so I'm going to click yes overwrite it so now I'm in regular movie mode at 60 frames per second. If I want to do a slow motion clip right now, I can go up here, put it on C3, hit record, move it pretty quick, end it, now play it back, and it's going to be 120 frames per second. It's going to be slowed down. So that is the easiest way to do it. Now, you know, if I want to go back to regular recording, back to movie mode, and I'm done. And that's it. So no, you don't have to go in there and change your settings every time you want to have slow motion. You can just set it to a custom function and leave it that way. So hopefully now you get the gist of how the high frame rate works on this camera. It's a little tricky to set up and use. Like I said earlier, I would recommend putting it on the C1 or C2 or C3 if you got the GH5. That way you can flip right to it and have your slow motion and you don't ever have to change the settings. You can have your normal video mode in you know 30p or 60p or whatever you do and just jump right to slow motion right when you want it. So that is the most effective way to use it, I think. But if this video helps you out, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'm glad I was able to teach you something. If, if I could, I know that I was confused when I first learned how to use it. And I feel like I've got a grip on it now so I can teach y'all how to do it. But Thumbs it up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be coming up with some more uh, tech-related videos here in the future. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.